Good morning. Welcome again to the Bethany and Social Reform Presbyterian Church. As we come together for our Tuesday morning devotion time, we consider again what a blessing it is to be citizens of heaven as well as being given the right to enjoy the creation that God has made for his people to dwell in. And as we look forward to the consummation of all things, for the redemption of all things, we take time on this day to go to a friendly word, to be encouraged, to be strengthened, and to be guided, and maybe even challenged that we might live more directly in the name of our Savior. So as we come uh, before Charles Spurgeon's morning and evening today, let us go uh, to prayer. Our good and gracious Heavenly Father, you have shown mercy to sinners, sinners such as I, sinners such as have been named from the beginning of the world. For we know that your Son, Jesus Christ, has died for the ungodly. And he has died not that we would remain ungodly, but that we would be transformed, that we would be new creatures, and that our new identity would not be in our sin, but in the saving grace gifted and granted unto us by the Redeemer. So dear God, as we take time to spend a moment in these words which have blessed so many over the years, may you in every way open our eyes to see and our ears to hear that we might be blessed. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, this morning we turn again to 1 Corinthians 3.23. You are Christ. You are Christ. You are his by donation. For the Father gave you to the Son. His by his purchase of blood. For he paid the price. For your redemption. His by dedication. For you have consecrated yourself to him. By resting and trusting in him by faith. His by relation. For you are named by his name. And made one of his brethren. And joint heirs. So what do we do in response to such grace? Labor practically to show the world that you are the servant, the friend, the bride of Jesus. When tempted to sin, reply, I cannot do this great wickedness, for I am Christ. Immortal principles forbid the friend of Christ to sin. When wealth is before you to be won by sin, Say that you are Christ and touch it not. Are you exposed to difficulties and dangers? Stand fast in the evil day, remembering that you are Christ. Are you placed where others are sitting down idly, doing nothing? Rise to the work with all your powers. And when the sweat stands upon your brow and you are tempted to loiter like others around you, cry, no, I cannot stop, for I am Christ. If I were not purchased by blood, I might be like Issachar, crouching between two burdens. But I am Christ and cannot loiter. When the siren song of pleasure would tempt you from the path of right, reply, Your music cannot charm me, for I am Christ. When the cause of God invites you, give your goods and yourself away, for you are Christ. Never contradict your profession, especially through idleness. Be ever one of those whose manners are Christian, 
whose speech is like Jesus seasoned with grace, whose conduct and conversation are so reminiscent of heaven that all who see you may know that you are the Savior's. Recognizing in you his features of love and his countenance of holiness. I am a Roman, was of old a reason for integrity. Far more than let your argument for holiness be, I am Christ. Now these words which we've heard from Spurgeon this morning are a keen reminder of why the doctrine of adoption is so foundational to the believer. Because remembering that we belong body and soul to the God who made the heavens and the earth, there is no greater strength that we can have than that knowledge that the enemies of darkness, that the ones who would tempt us away, have no power here, for we are Christ's, and that is our clarion call. We belong to Jesus. For he has died for our sins. And he's not merely washed us and left us to dry ourselves off. But he has brought us into the very home of God. Where we eat at the king's table. We rest in the prince's bed. And we know security like no one has ever known. For as we live in the very heart of the citadel of faith. We fear no evil, for our God in Christ, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, is with us. Who can harm us? Let that be peace unto you today. May God bless you, may his face shine upon you, and may in every way you be found righteous in Christ. Take care, and God bless.